Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com. Another quick tutorial for you. Something that made its debut in iOS 5, which you may or may not already know about. Uh, multitasking gestures. So essentially, you'll know that from iOS 4 to multitask, you double click the home key and you get your list of recent apps or row of recent apps at the bottom and then you select them on there. But there is another way to do it. Um, if you go into your general settings, you will see that there's a multitasking gestures here. Now you can switch it on or off. And it also tells you how to actually use it. So you use four or five fingers. You pinch to get to the home screen. You swipe up to reveal the multitasking bar that we've just seen. Or you swipe left or right in between apps. So let's say I wanted to go back to the home screen now. I've got my five digits here. And I just grab the screen and I've gone back to the home home screen. If I want to go, if I want to see the multitasking bar at the bottom, I can swipe up and you can see I've got a few things running there. Let's just say I wanted to go into videos. Um, you can see my daughter's obviously been in here. Now if I wanted to swipe in between apps, you use your four fingers again and you swipe across like that and it keeps going and going and going until you get to the last app and then again home screen a quick grab should oh, once it's running there we go so there we go that's a really quick guide there's nothing nothing amazing to it nothing that's gonna take a lot of effort to get to use as long as you use the right number of fingers you're fine um, so yeah quick tutorial if you want to ask me how to do anything else on iOS please feel free to ask me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore Cam. Uh, ask us on Facebook as well if you don't have a Twitter account. We know not everyone does. It's facebook.com forward slash today's iPhone. Feel free to send us a direct message on there. Um, and I will see you again soon.